Hi everyone, have a great and a wonderful greetings to all and we are here again in the pronunciation English language. And our topic for today is about the speech. But first and foremost, before we continue, if you are new in our YouTube channel, please uh, click the button and subscribe. And also you can follow us in our Facebook page, Pronunciation English Language. Anyways, to continue, there are eight parts of speech in English language. The number one is noun, the pronoun, verb, adjective, adverb, uh, the preposition, conjunction, and interjection. So the part of speech indicates uh, how the word functions in a meaning as well as uh, uh, grammatically within the sentence as an individual word can function as more than one part of the speech is essential for determining the correct definitions of word when using the dictionary. So the number one is a noun. A noun is a word for a person, place, thing, or idea. Nouns are often listed with an article, the or the, a, and an, but not always. Proper nouns always start with a capital letter. Common nouns do not. Nouns can be singular or plural, concrete or abstract. Nouns show possession by or adding a s. Nouns can function in different roles within a sentence. Uh, for example, a noun can be a subject, direct object, indirect object, subject complement, or object of a preposition. For example, the young girl brought me a very long letter from the teacher and then she quickly disappeared. Oh my! So the noun in there is the girl and the letter. So, the next one is the pronoun. A pronoun is a word used in a place of a noun. Just like she, we, they, it. A pronoun is a word used in a place of a noun. A pronoun is usually uh, substituted for a specific noun, which is called its an antecedent. The antecedent for the pronoun, she is the girl, and pronouns are further defined by the type. Personal pronoun refer to specific persons or things. Possessive pronouns indicate ownership. Reflexive pronouns are used to uh, emphasize another noun or pronoun. Relative uh, pronoun introduce a uh, subordinate clause and then and demonstrative identify point to or refer to nouns. So for example, the young girl brought me a very long letter for the teacher and then she quickly disappeared. Oh my. So the pronoun there is it me and the she. So be, be, be aware of that. So the number three is the verb. A verb expresses action or being. Example, jump is right become the verb in a sentence expresses actions or being there is a main verb and sometimes one or more uh, helping verbs just like a uh, she can sing and sing is the main verb can is the helping verb so a verb must uh, must uh, must agree with a subject in number. Both are singular or both plural. Verbs also uh, take 
different forms to express tense. Example. The young girl brought me a very long letter from the teacher and then she quickly disappeared. Oh my. So the verb in there is uh, brought and disappeared. So that's all for now. And in the, in the next time, of course, still we will continue this topic and we will talk about more about speech. And we will continue our topic about the adjective, the adverb, the preposition, the conjunction, and the interjection. So, just uh, wait for that uh, topic again. So, that's all. Thank you so much. And if you have some questions, just send, just send us a message. Just inbox us in our Facebook page, uh, Pronunciation English Language. And um, if you have any questions, uh, don't worry. We'll try to answer as we can. We'll try as soon as possible as we can. Thank you so much and have a wonderful greetings to all and thank you so much. Bye-bye. Keep safe.